Okay, so hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You know, today's video is kind of interesting. We've got the iPhone SE first gen and the iPhone 15 Pro, right? And well, I thought, you know, let's do something a little uh, crazy. I'm thinking we'll do a speed test on these two iPhones. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to give you like the key points about each one. So over here on the left, we have the iPhone SE first gen. This phone came out in uh, March 2016, which honestly feels like ages ago. But you know, it was really great back then because it had the iPhone 6s A9 chip and 2GB of RAM, which was really, really powerful for that year, especially in such a, you know, small compact phone with the iPhone 5 body. And for what it's worth, I'm a huge fan of these compact iPhones like this one. And then on the right, we've got the iPhone 15 Pro. Now this one was released in hmm, September 2023. So yeah, last year's model. And of course, it's still amazing and super powerful. I mean, it uses the A17 Pro chip and eight gigabyte of RAM. So we've got these two iPhones with like a seven to eight year difference between them. Okay, so without any further ado, let's just get right into the speed test. All right, so like first off, you know, I'm gonna kick things off with a booting speed test just to see how long they take to uh, turn on. And then we'll go through and open a bunch of apps, you know, everything from like your basic simple apps to, you know, social media stuff, maybe even a game or two, just, you know, the usual. Oh, and also I'll be running a Geekbench score comparison just for funsies. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely see like how big of a difference there really is between these two iPhones, which honestly, I'm really curious for the results. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, the 15 Pro definitely wins here, you know? But honestly, the gap is like just four seconds, which is kind of surprising, right? And uh, then we'll see the app opening speed test. So yeah, we'll get to that next. First off, I just make sure like, you know, Every iPhone had no apps running in the background and uh, they were both on the same Wi-Fi. Oh, and also these two iPhones, they're both running the latest iOS. Well, you know, as latest as they can get anyway. So the iPhone SE, it's on iOS 15.8.4 right now. And uh, the 15 Pro, it's on iOS 18.5.
So like, as you can see, all the apps, they pretty much launched like completely fine, you know? And what's really kind of surprising actually is how the iPhone SE with like an eight year age gap is really doing a great job. Honestly, it's just only like maybe one to three seconds difference between opening the apps, you know? And uh, lastly, I went back and reopened those apps from the background. And like, it really surprised me because, you know, the iPhone SE with only two gigabytes of RAM, it's still managed uh, without refreshing. It's really, really cool for me at least. And yeah, it really shows like how good Apple products are. I mean, even after, you know, nearly a decade, the phone can still run like surprisingly great, honestly. Okay, so yeah, there you have it, folks. The results, well, of course, the iPhone 15 Pro like totally wins the speed test. But you know what? It's kind of interesting, the performance gap for like basic apps. It's not that huge, actually. We're talking maybe two to five seconds, you know? But of course, you know, nowadays phones aren't just for uh, basic apps, are they? I mean, we need like battery life, a good screen, fluidity, the camera, connection, so many other things. And like, honestly, those are the areas where these two iPhones are, you know, really different for, well, you know, what we expect in like 2025, right? Okay, so um, thanks so much for watching today. And uh, hey, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to uh, hit that like button. And, um, you know, if you want to support the channel, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, bye.